You're bad. No, yeah. Yeah, nigga. In that bitch, nigga. No, oh, yeah. Ain't nothing, nigga. We in that bitch. Know what I'm saying? Everybody live up while real. Ain't nothing, know what I'm saying? Rich folk live in that bitch, nigga. Real talk. Why, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know that nigga that own QC? Shit, yeah, why? He living that bitch. Big ass house. Why, real talk. Why? Real security, too. Know what I'm saying? But I know how to get in that bitch, real talk. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. In that bitch, why? And the BT award oh, finna go down. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I might go in that bitch myself, nigga. You know it ain't shit, nigga. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> but while he talking and hitting and shit like that, he just in his own, you know what I'm saying? They in his own, whatever. These niggas don't have no fucking job. Understand this, dog. When you broke, dog. When you broke, you will make hope out of any fucking thing. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation, and this is these. Are also, these are the colors of t-shirts. Um, go to the PayPal, uh, pay your twenty-five dollars, get your fucking t-shirt. If you are A.O. Nation, you have to have your t-shirt. Um, I want to holler about. Out of all them houses in that neighborhood, did y'all know that the most secured house was P House? In his neighborhood, those white folks walk down the road with their dogs and walk their dogs and all kind of shit. Old white ladies, old white men and shit like that. Out of all those houses in that neighborhood... P, if you don't know who the fuck P is, he's the CEO of QC, which is the label that has the Migos and Yachty and shit like that. P had the most secured, as far as security goes, he had the most secured house in that neighborhood. Do you know that the fucking, these niggas rolled past all of these white folks' houses who probably had their doors unlocked because they live in a gated community. Who the fuck would think that somebody going to Go up in your house when you live in a fucking gated community. They really leave their fucking doors unlocked. These niggas real deal pried the door open. Pried his back garage door open and shit like that. And went in his shit, tore down the security system. They found out how to break in a highly secured house. On some real Mission Impossible shit. These niggas went and became fucking masterminds in order to take from a black man when they could have been fucking children and just walked into the white folks' house and came out with diamonds, TVs too big to carry, and Look, I know you're enjoying your video, but give me one second. When you go to the PayPal to donate, all my AO Nation members, do not go to paying for item and services. It holds the money and it's charging you. If you have done that, if you've donated and you've hit paying for item and services, you need to go back and release those funds. I have not gotten them. Uh, even if you're buying a shirt, do not hit paying for an item of service. It's charging you. Go to send money to a friend. It's two options. And hit the send money to a friend so that it comes straight to me and we don't have to release them because they're asking for a tracking number, which obviously I don't have if you're giving a donation. Even with the shirts, I'm not going to have that tracking number. If you want the shirts, just put $25 in the PayPal and then go to the messenger and give me your address and in three or five business days, you will have the RUC shirt. Uh, all my local artists and advertisers, you need to have a $100 budget if you want to do business. Also, you need to be ready to promote. Do not hit me until you're ready to promote. 
Period, point blank. I don't want to talk about your idea, about your company, and no shit like that. I have too much going on. If you're an artist and you want feedback and advice on your song, you need to send a $35 deposit so I can listen to it and give you the feedback. I don't have time to do this shit for free. Okay? Um, what else? Uh, T-shirts, PayPal, advertising. That's it. Uh, this is Saki, and this is Aki. So if you hear me fussing them in the background, now you know what they look like. I'll see y'all in a minute. Enjoy the video. Anything else the fuck that you want. But because there is no value in the eyes of a nigga when looking at another nigga. I see no value in you because I see no value in my fucking self. Am I fucking crazy or is that the fucking case? When you have all these fucking houses, all these fucking white folks, all these houses are unsecured. So many motherfuckers don't even have no sign in the yard saying ADT or, you know what I'm saying, all that shit, whatever. I'm going to go to the nigga house. Ain't nothing about, oh, I know I, I knew he went home because you was fucking wrong. The security guard, nigga. All right. So y'all say I be teaching this shit like that. Let's do a little learning. Okay, in the street, whatever like that. You have to be able to identify what drug a person is on extremely fast because you need to, you know what I'm saying, you're looking in the car, whatever like that, they look at you and say, what up? You need to make sure, all right, them motherfuckers want coke. I ain't got no coke. Shit, I'm finna go in the store, you know what I'm saying, get some salt, you know what I'm saying, get some flour, whatever the fuck like that, and come out and like it's all good, whatever, and ride the fuck off. That's what I do, you know what I'm saying? Because my shit was always scamming motherfuckers and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So... You had to be out, but you know, a nigga who really got this shit, whatever, like that. You know, I, I had the weed and shit like that. I'm just saying, like, when I get down bad, you know what I'm saying, I don't mind going to motherfucker. Like, I, like, you know what I'm saying? But you have to be able to identify what's going on with a the motherfucker. Do they want weed? Is the motherfucker on weed? You know what I'm saying? So you want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you engage people. Like, you can catch leaks like this. You see an average motherfucker, like, he, he might got a, a landscape business and shit like that, but you know that he on the bag. You have to know the difference between a motherfucker that snort cocaine and snort milk. A motherfucker that, that shoot heroin and shoot milk. What's the difference between milk and ice? What's the difference in how the customers look? Point of story is, what drug was that security guard on? Give you a couple seconds to, to find out. Look at the picture and tell me what drug he's on. All right, time's up. That motherfucker's on cocaine. There are a few signs. Of course, you can't really see, but I guarantee you he don't have no nose hair. He was playing with his nose as he walk up, whatever. How skinny he is. Now, a motherfucker, you know, Dom is live, you know what I'm saying? He like to joke and shit like that because they don't know shit over there. But then, uh, the motherfuckers over there, oh, look how fucking big his shirt he is. Oh, uh, look. You don't know what the fuck is going on right here. Obviously, that security job was given to him by somebody else. Probably another motherfucker that do drugs that actually own that fucking complex. So, here it is. The motherfucker that's selling coke to the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, complex or subdivision manager or some shit like that. You know, maybe the super, because all these subdivisions have, like, you know, situations where you can get somebody to come cut the grass. All kind of shit going on. But the motherfucker that runs that, obviously, they have a drug problem. And they're giving a favor to the motherfucker who got the coke. So the motherfucker who got the coke, we're going to get deep with this. The motherfucker who got the coke, as if you got, look, man, if you got dope and you credit, like, if you credit your dope out to a motherfucker, you want to make sure they got a job. This is why you got to watch What and who gives you shit? The motherfucker that serve you crack, whatever like that, they will take you to and from work because essentially you're working for them. Everything you make at that job, you're going to give it to them. So all they got to do is go buy the dope. And you know what I'm saying? They got a whole job. They, they see everything you do. They make sure you don't get hit by the police because you got a ride. It's, so you go home and to work. 
and they just count money, count money, count money. So here it is, as a real trapper, you might have five junkies just like that. A junkie might be going up in houses, stealing shit and shit like that. Might, you know what I'm saying, be going from, you know what I'm saying, place to place, just hitting little pit and leaks. They come with 20, they come with 17, you know what I'm saying, they come with 12, $7, trying to get some, whatever like that. If you really down hard and really with this trap shit, whatever like that, you wouldn't mind pulling some of your leverage because you got a motherfucker who comes spend 200, you know what I'm saying, 150, whatever, you show him love or some shit like that. And, you know, a little white boy, a little a white girl, whatever like that. And, you know, they're going to be short. So they'll, they'll, they'll try to run a story to you on why they short. Oh, yeah, my fucking job, my fucking boss, whatever. But they'll be a real assistant manager. You know what I'm saying? Might be a GM or some shit like that. So they'll run some shit to you, whatever. And as you showing them love, in your mind, you'll be thinking, shit, this is a little good job the motherfucker got. I'm plugged in. You know what I'm saying? Them motherfucker need me, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, if you answering the phone at three in the morning, or whatever like that, when they need a fucking bag, you know what I'm saying? You really like you have to understand the way addicts, you know how the fuck you look at your fucking dope man. The nigga you get dope from, you get excited when he call you. The nigga you getting them pills from, if he don't answer the phone, you get depressed. This is why I'm telling you that weed is just as bad as any fucking drug because You'll be the damn near killed yourself or can't eat in the morning if you ain't got no weed. Because the food don't even taste good. Because you so fucking... The girl or the dude say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got the job at, at this fucking subdivision and shit like that. Yeah, fucking boss is fucking bullshit, man. Uh, I'm finna fire this somebody. So if they say they finna fire somebody, you know they got rank. So here it is. You got another nigga come around this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Might be your cousin or some shit like that. No, it's anything. You still serve him. Might be your cousin or shit like that. He need him a fucking job because he's still around his whole, you know what I'm saying, bullshit, stealing out the stove, trying to bring you CDs and all this other shit like that out the stove. You want them motherfuckers to come with money. So here it is now. You say, all right, I'm going to bless you down. But really, all you think about is yourself. I'm going to bless you down. Look, I got a job for you. You got to go to work. I'm going to make sure you go to work too. You got to get your shit together. So you acting like you're trying to help him straighten his life up, but really you just trying to make sure that check come all the way now. Now you can make sure, you know what I'm saying, that he going to come correct. You ain't got to cut no shorts. Now you're going to get the whole thing now. Ain't no love involved in it. This is what I'm telling y'all. Understand what words mean when motherfuckers talk to you. What they say don't mean a goddamn thing. What they do mean everything. I mean really what they do. That's why I'm breaking down this whole situation to you. Because nobody's talking about what's actually going on. So let's speak about it. So yeah, you say, all right, look, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna goddamn going to get you the job over here, the goddamn subdivision. You better goddamn have your shit together. I'm going to make sure you get to work and home every day. Ain't going to be no being late. I ain't going to be late, cuz. I, I appreciate that shit, bro. Real talk, bro. To a God, bro. I've been, no, I been, I been waiting to get my shit together, bro. Real talk, bro. I appreciate that, cuz. So now you got him the job, you know what I'm saying? All he got to do with the job, you to talk. All you got to do is watch security camera, make sure nobody come through that shit. Don't be having any goddamn bullshit that cracky in there, friend, coming through that bitch neither. You know what I'm saying? It's big folks stepping here now, real talk. Well, you don't, don't fuck my name up as if he got a fucking name. My nigga, you don't got no name. You just sell coke to the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, uh, property owner or property manager. You know what I'm saying? So whatever... Obviously, the property manager is going to get the motherfucker on, tell the motherfucker what he need to bring to work, your white shirt, your black pants and shit like that, or we're going to provide you with the shirt that's come with an all, you know what I'm saying, white undershirt. Here, this motherfucker come with an orange undershirt. But the property own manager, so fucking unprofessional, they got this size extra medium nigga in a fucking 5X shirt. And they ain't had the fucking decency to get this nigga the right size shirt. There ain't no motherfucking way that P don't know that that motherfucking security guard is the motherfucker that set this goddamn shit up. Because as this goddamn crackhead ass nigga been working there for number three months, I guarantee that motherfucker ain't been that number goddamn a couple of months tops. As he been working there... He seen Pete going back and forth in that fucking Bentley. Seen Pete going back and forth in that Rafe. He seen what kind of niggas going to Pete's house. 
Oh man, he lit over there. This nigga, he might be even acting like he might even had the chance to go over there. He just snuck his way over there, then slimed his way in to go over there, bitch, whatever like that. Or maybe he ain't had the courage to go over there. Because when P was talking to him, P was really talking to the nigga as if he didn't know him. Like they don't know the nigga for real. So he maybe just been peeping this shit the whole time. And what he told his crackhead friends is, oh man, look, bro, real talk. P up in there and they been talking about this shit. Maybe he knew whatever, you know what I'm saying? It finna be the goddamn. Or maybe the niggas came with the idea like, shit, you say P up in there, you know the Migo gonna be at the goddamn BT award, whatever, like they think he gonna be there. Cuz, come on, man, you know you can't goddamn go up in there. And when he's saying cuz, he talking to his other friends. He talking to his other niggas. He ain't talking to cuz who got on the job that's selling the goddamn coat. He talked to his other little crack, his other uh, crackhead cousin they began high with. Man, I don't know, know, cause now they know he got the job. They know he got the job because now they come around hitting the bag with him. See, until we analyze this street shit, we not gonna get this crime shit under control. So let's uncover what's really going on. When a snorter, a real snorter, or a real smoker get a job cocaine is a social drug it started off as a party drug meaning when you own that coke these motherfuckers especially an old school motherfucker or you know what I'm saying motherfucker over 30 they want to have company whether or not they actually tell you or not they want to have company because they want to talk their shit because now they in a zone now, for a little second, they can forget that they fucking junkies. And see, this is see. I listen. I, it's a lot of you rap niggas. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up and shit like that. On you know what I'm saying? It, it's crazy. I listen to a certain type of artist. I listen to rap niggas who actually I can tell actually are in the street and know something about it. Who ain't. Glorifying it, but they uncover the shit the same way I do. It's a nigga named, uh, what's my nigga name? His name Grams. It's a nigga named Grams from Illinois. You know what I'm saying? Not Chicago. It's a whole nother place in Illinois. This nigga here got a fucking mixtape called Thumper City. And in this fucking mixtape, this shit is saying the same shit. I'm, I'm thinking about it now, like, this nigga said this in the shit. It's like, Real deal junkies will ha actually have parties, like coke parties, as soon as they get a job. Because now, with a check coming in, the nigga who sell it, like the nigga who they getting it from, might front them some on credit because they know the check coming in. This is why the motherfucker is driving them back and forth to work and shit like that. Shout out to that nigga Grams. As the nigga is having parties and shit like that, motherfuckers are asking, because everybody talking and shit like that. Motherfuckers asking, hey man, where you working and shit like that? Well, well, you know, I got me a good job, boy. Shit, hell yeah, yeah, but I don't do shit where I just wipe these streams with them like that. Big ass neighborhood, boy, real talk. Let me get the bag. Let me get the bag. Oh man, don't, don't get me stripping the bitch. Let me get the bag. You know, some nigga, you know what I'm saying? These niggas, nah, these niggas, they gonna make them a hitter. They gonna have a real hitter with the paper and shit like that. They gonna have a whole hitter and shit. Yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, boy, I got me a real big ass job. They ain't nothing, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Big money, boy, I swear to God, I ain't got getting $10 an hour, nigga. I ain't shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Give me the bag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga. In that bitch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing, nigga. We in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Everybody live up, why real, ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? Rich folk living that bitch, nigga, real talk, why, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know that nigga that own QC? Shit, yeah, why? He living that bitch, big ass house, why, real talk, why? Real security, too. You know what I'm saying? But I know how to get in that bitch, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. In that bitch, why? And the BT award finna go down, shit. You know what I'm saying? I might go in that bitch myself, nigga. You know it ain't shit, nigga. <laughs> real talk. <laughs> but while he talking and hitting and shit like that, he just in his own, you know what I'm saying? Just in his own, whatever. These niggas don't have no fucking job. Understand this, dog. When you broke, dog. 
When you broke, you will make hope out of any fucking thing. You will make hope out of anything. You can start with this. If you just find a way in, nigga, fuck the consequences. I, Because being broke is like being on fire. Understand me? Being broke is like being on God oh, shit, nigga. It don't go off. It like it, it don't leave. It like having the chicken pot. God damn, nigga. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying? The only way to goddamn put some fucking some ointment on that shit is to get you some fucking money. So when you're in pain, you're not thinking logically. It hurt. It hurt. Not just, you know, from people laughing at you and, and all this shit like that. That's mental pain. I'm to my it physically hurts to be broke. So, as you're not thinking logically, and, and, you know what I'm saying? Everything looks sweet. Even the shit that's sour start looking like you can eat that shit. You ever been hungry and some shit that, no, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You hungry as fuck, you, you'll eat any fucking thing. And this is what's going on. And this is by design. By design, we have been put in a situation that thinking logically is a luxury. Thinking logically is a, lu- it's a luxury. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't have time to think logically. I'm broke right now. I've been broke, nigga, the fuck? I don't give a fuck about, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to find a way to convince myself that we not going to get caught. I'm going to find a way to convince myself it's all love. But the only way that you can do that is, the way that you can turn down your senses and not think that you're going straight to jail, is avoid white people. Avoid white victims. When niggas get broken, fucked up, they're going to find a nigga. A nigga that... OB said this. OB said a nigga will know that you bought that shit and he'll make you kill him. A nigga will know that you bought that shit and he'll make you kill him. Just so he ain't got to watch you shine. It don't matter how many bodies you got. It don't matter how... What your reputation say you is, man. A nigga will real deal try you... Just so he ain't got to keep on seeing you ride by on that thing with them sixes on it. Just so a nigga ain't got to, you know what I'm saying, continue out this bitch watching you flex up. You know what I'm saying? Continue to watch you go up. This ball McConaughey, dog, I keep telling you niggas, this what hating originated. A nigga will real deal murder you. Go and, uh, like on, some, on some gas station shit. On some on camera shit. Just so he can be the one to say he did it. And these niggas will be the same motherfucker that's wondering why the fuck the police is doing us like this. Come on, dawg. We animals. We real dead animals. Who we gonna ask sympathy from? We wanna be treated like sophisticated motherfuckers. But we don't say shit about niggas that are carrying out animalistic behavior, knowing that they can't tell us apart. So to them, we all look alike. You have to take, like, I, I, how far do I gotta break this down? How how far do I gotta break it down? If, bloods, let's do gang shit, all right. In any gang, let's say blood, let's take blood for example. If the bloods, all the bloods in, in California, if, fuck that, let, let's do this whole junior thing. The shit that happened in the Bronx, that was supposed to be a, a, some gang shit, whatever like that. So whatever that gang was that did that, if that happens again, that gang, anybody that's in that gang is gonna get slammed down in the streets, and they know that. If if the bloods, if the bloods 
if they find out that the bloods cut them off, the, the Taliban, the Taliban, how in the fuck can the Taliban say, hey man, we ain't, man, what the fuck y'all doing is like, man, what the fuck y'all doing us like that for the The fuck we ain't all bad. All us ain't bad, dawg. That was just some fuck niggas, dawg. You can't, don't profile us and stereotype us, dawg. All us ain't like that, dawg. The fuck? Like, what the fuck? What are you saying? My nigga, how the fuck? All you motherfuckers got turbans and beards. How the fuck am I supposed to know that, that you're not no fucking terrorists? That's how the fuck we, we treat them the same way. It's the same shit. So what gangs do, if a motherfucker, like in prison, it's the same, like, you know what I'm saying? If you're in prison, whatever like that, nigga, once you do some snitch shit, some homosexual shit, you out the fucking game. Because we don't represent that shit. Well, that's not true at all. I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna leave that alone. Well, I'm gonna say this: you can't be no, you can't be no ranking official in the game. In some game, you know what I'm saying you can't be no ranking official. You know what I'm saying you can't be caught, you can't be no shot caller in the game, and you fucking ass. Cause you, you're not gonna represent us, and if we're not gonna. If we're not gonna push out and cast out and say, hey, we ain't about that, dog. We ain't about that, dog. We're not with that. If we're not gonna do niggas like that, then we can't, like, we, we, we gotta accept what come with it because them niggas look just like us. Them folks cannot tell us apart. Are you gonna disagree with me when I say that most white supremacists Keyword, white supremacists, and even uh, regular white people cannot tell us apart. We all look alike to them. And I really can't blame them because all of us got tattoos on our face now. All of us got, you know what I'm saying, a beard. All of us got, we all look the same. We all dress the same and everything. We're uniform. In the same way in different races because even in the Bronx, they couldn't tell that boy apart from the other boy because they looked alike. We have similarities, like even better, like they said, they said, they used to say I look like fucking Kevin Gates, uh, Tone Trump, and, and uh, the list go on. Like niggas, we all look alike because we all come from the same place. So what I'm saying is, if we're not gonna denounce the niggas that are doing shit that we don't agree with, if we're not gonna stop laughing at that shit and actually say, hey, dog, this is bullshit, this is bullshit right here, stop sharing the shit. Stop giving niggas, stop making niggas celebrities for the shit that we don't even want to be brought to the forefront. You niggas is sharing this shit as if, oh man, shit live. You know what I'm saying? You know what you're doing. The nigga, look, look, dog, look, look, dog. The nigga, your homeboy, um, Lil Baby. Lil Baby said 5500 for a new, I thought you said tennis. Meaning tennis shoes. I, I think this nigga said 5500 for, for a new pair of titties. I buy them like Jordan. Jordans. She got them ass shots that I like. Listen, dog. You niggas are going to have to understand. The reason. And, he on, and he's on fucking. Ironic enough, he's on QC. 